couch Dogs, me, guitar lessons Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, welcome to another edition of Fingerstyle Challenge of the Week. In this video, we're gonna wrap our hands around this nice little lick taken from Fleetwood Mac's Lindsey Buckingham's composition, Big Love. Okay, sounds like a guitar player and a bass player together because we have a strong bass line following a simple guitar lick, together it makes for a very, very confusing and sometimes frustrating lick um, because it's gonna be frustrating to try to explain it as well, but I'm gonna do my best. Let's separate them. The bass line is very simple. It's four D notes, four E notes, and eight A notes. So it's just D, 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 E, 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 A, 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 A. The trouble starts when you try to add this. Okay, I'm gonna play it again a bit slowly. I'm gonna play both of them. Okay, you see, you have to keep the bass note going. So, um, I suggest you play it very, very slowly at first. The lick on the E string is 5 and 8, and you bend 8, okay? But that's not the actual lick. 5 is the first note, and the lick is actually this. It's 8 and 5. So that's the part that confuses most people because they treat it as 5-8-5-8, -8, but it's not. It's 5 by itself and then 8-5-8-5-8-5. It sounds silly, but it makes a whole lot of difference when you try to approach this lick slowly because that's um, how you break down the lick in your head. So it's 5 alone and then... Okay, it's not 5-8, eight, it's 8-5. Eight, Remember that and you'll do fine. So try to listen to the rhythm. 8-5, 8 5 8 5 8 5 8 5 It's da 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 Okay? Once you get your hand around that, try to add a bass note. One bass note. D. D. Okay? Try to add the D note. Once you get that going, change from D to E. D, E, and then A. Okay, now, um, if you noticed, there's one bend on D, two bends on E, then three bends on A. That's another way you can learn this. You can break this into um, bends. You can just count the bends. So one bend for D, two bends for E, three bends for A. Okay? Then the D line is the same. And then, on E, you bend eight um, four times. And then on A, you play five, five, three, five. Right now, we're just adding bass notes to every note we play, or to every bend. So, D, E, A. And then D, four bends on E, and then A with five, five, three, five. So let's play that. Now, 
now let's try to ease into the bass notes. The way to do this, the most straightforward way to do this, and I'm not kidding, is to sing it. To sing it along with claps. The claps are the bass notes. Once you can do that, clap in eighth notes. Once you can do that, you can play it. So start very slowly. I'm not kidding. Try it. It's not as easy as it looks um, because you're replacing the thumb with claps and you're replacing the first string with your voice. It doesn't matter if you sing it correctly or not. You can just sing the rhythm. Okay, as long as you... As long as you can wrap your head around both parts, the eighth notes for the bass, um, the bass part and the lick itself, then you can approach the guitar with more confidence instead of just trying to um, approach the guitar and get all frustrated because you, can't, um, because you can't play it together. So then after you wrap your head around the concept of how these two parts align, then you can try and play it very slowly. Try to listen to the bass notes and their alignment with the notes. Aligned. 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 And then again. Aligned. Aligned. Okay, so you get alignment, disalignment. Alignment, disalignment. And that way you just wrap your head around the concept. Just like with Travis picking, only this time you're playing all the notes on the same bass note instead of alternating between bass notes. It's the same concept. So some of the notes align with the bass notes, some of the notes don't. And that's the important thing, to see where they align and where they don't. That's why the clapping exercise before. I'm gonna play this one last time very very slowly because there is no other way to explain this lick and, um, except for breaking it down completely and that will just confuse you even farther. So do the exercise I um, suggested, the clapping and singing exercise and you'll see that will help you wrap your head around the rhythm. So again very slowly. Actually, this is a lot more confusing than playing it in speed. One last time. Okay, and in speed. practice this please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already there's a ton of lessons on the channel already for you to learn and I upload a new one every couple of days or so everything for free of course including the tab the link is in the description go to the website download the tab and if you want to give something back there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs you can't miss it it's large and blue and everything goes right back into lick and riff into making the lessons working on them perfecting them filming them, editing them, everything takes time and effort. So if you want to help out in producing the lessons, I'd be more than grateful for your help. I wish you good luck with this and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching. Bye for now.